Last week we were at AFC Totten and this happened. Well, yeah, the game clearly got postponed. I mean, just look at the ball not bouncing. I've seen more bounce at a James Blunt concert. I suppose we can count that as a clean sheet though. So I suppose last Saturday did have its upside. So the last time we actually played was two weeks ago against Dorchester and we got back to losing ways. Shit. Oh. Oh, it's 2 0. This is a disaster already. Today, we're facing a real bogey team in Harrow Borough. They find themselves in the relegation zone in 21st. However, taking a dive into their last five league fixtures, they've only lost the once. I mean, looking at the table, we should be hammering these guys. But this is a team on not bad form. And let's not forget, we beat the best sides in the league but yet lose to the bottom teams. That's the story of this season anyway. Last time we met in the league, we smashed them 4-1 at their gaff. Since then, they have signed Bracknell defender James Gertine. I'm sure I'll give him the he doesn't want it line when he's chasing the ball. Good news, we've signed a great player. Seriously, he's great, mate. Okay, now I'll say it seriously. We welcome striker Great Evans to the club, formerly of Hungerford Town. I'm pleased with this signing. I certainly think another striker was needed to try and bang in some more goals. Let's smash 50 likes on this video, you absolute legends. And with that, let's make our score predictions. I'm going to say 3-0 to Bracknell. We've got to surely win this one today, boys. I mean, come on. Last home game or last game we played was 3-1 at home to Dorchester. We lost a team at the bottom. We should have beaten those guys, but I am confident we can do it today. We've just got to have some positivity, play forward, just be confident, I think. And that will be enough to get us those three points if we really do want to march towards those playoffs because we have now basically got 13 cup finals to get us there if we can magically do it but Gemma what is your score prediction considering Harry Bow has been on great form and they've only lost one out of their last five I don't know I'm, I'm thinking we can easily get a 2-1 win today and hopefully like you said just give it go out there with all confidence and and hopefully we'll get, get those three points today Apparently today's bowlicious within the ground is sweet and sour chicken so I might show you guys that if I decide to go with it but with that I'll see you inside Bottom Meadow gone for today's bowlicious it is sweet and sour chicken and rice look at that that is that looks lovely doesn't it but i'll let you know how this tastes in just a moment yeah this is absolutely amazing chicken's cooked well the rice is quite nice i mean rice is pretty it's nothing special is it but tastes all right i'll give this a solid eight out of ten bowlicious something they do, they do here every home game something different but this week it's sweet and sour chicken just look at it it is absolutely lovely so today's starting lineup is quite different besson is our goalkeeper instead of michael ecott We've also got Gary Abasoga making a full start. And we've got quite a strong bench here this afternoon. Jordan Esprit makes a welcome return from injury. So hopefully he can come on and maybe nab a goal. And Stebbin on the bench as well, who's a very good tricky winger. So not a bad starting lineup, I'd say, and quite a strong bench. Soccer ball! Soccer ball! Soccer ball! He's got no friends. None. Right, slight change to the lineup. Stebbin has picked up a knock in the warm-up and he is replaced by the new signing, Great Evans, on the bench. So, it's gone blurry now. So we might get a sniff of Great Evans in the second half, hopefully. So we'll see what he is possibly made of. George Knight is down early, so we'll be in early substitution. Tom Jackson has come on for 90. Bread on me! Bread on me! Oh, it's a nice touch. Finish it! Oh, great save from the keeper. There's a corner. Oh, nice from Gary in the box. Ah, oh, good block though. And it's cleared by Watford, literally. Nice Watford colours there. Come on, Gabe. Got your magic. Doesn't want it. Still get that, Thomas Jackson. Oh. Take that. 
Joey. Oh. We're getting there so far. We're the better team, definitely. Doing well up front. Good defensively. This is more like it this week. Heads. Oh, lucky. Hey. oh, he was asleep then. Oh, nice footwork from Mickey. Crosses it in. Another head, but wrong direction. Go, Joey. Yeah, another corner. Oh, I felt that. We're still on the ball though, come on. Keep playing, keep playing. Back post. Oh. And for ball there. Gary successfully passed that. After some good moves. Back to Gaza. How's that not gone in? So half time it is nil nil frustratingly I think we've been the better team I think they had a chance there near the end of the first half somehow I didn't go in the back of the net but we've been good on the ball great up front great defensively as well really good up in defence I think we can do this in the second half I think we can get these three points just need a moment of magic to win obviously our, I think our crosses and um, square balls have been quite poor but look, we're, we're getting there we're getting heads to the ball sometimes in those places and I think we can do it so come on let's get those three points been a long time coming that but we deserve it we definitely deserve it one nil bracknell come on down with a dead cop down with a dead cop you're going down with a dead cop It was a good free kick, but game on, it's 1-1, one, one. for goodness sake, come on, let's get another goal to make it 2-1, come on.
Kai gets the cross bar though, and it's another corner. So that result makes no difference to us today. I think we remain in eighth position in the league table. So the playoff chase is still technically on, but it's still quite some way yet. We had so many opportunities. Gay Abasogun hitting the side of the net. We had uh, Max Herbert hitting the crossbar. The chances were there, but we just couldn't find that second goal. I thought our new signing today, Great Evans played quite well coming off the bench. Please leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it and subscribe for more of these videos if you haven't already. But next Saturday, we're at home to Merthyr in the Southern League once again. Will be a very tough game, but we beat them 3-2 just a few weeks ago, so we could do the double over them. It is possible, isn't it? But yeah, thank you guys as always for your support, and I'll, check it, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.